Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my first kind of sit down cancer video and that I've done on this channel and I was talking to my friend who has cancer the other day and we were kind of just talking about things that people wouldn't know about chemo or cancer patients and we kind of came up with a lot of them so I was just going to say a few of the things that I think people don't really understand or know much about cancer or chemo patients so I thought I would just tell them in this video and I thought it would be kind of cool because I want to do more cancer related things in my videos because it's a big huge part of my life and if you have any requests please leave them down below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up let's go the first thing I don't know if many people would understand and if you do understand this or you've been through it or you've seen someone go through it then you'll know that chemo is just horrible so basically at the moment I'm on chemo every single day and this week I'm on chemo on a lower dose than I usually am so that's why I'm able to film these videos and basically it's just absolutely horrible so when I'm on a high dose of chemo I have to take so many tablets a day and then sometimes I have to get an IV chemo and like I used to so I started off on eight months of an, a different chemo and it was through an IV and it would go into my port and actually that's another thing cancer patients get a lot of scars so this is my port scar right here it's actually not as bad as it used to be so that's good but um yeah I got eight months of IV chemo and that didn't work I was an unresponder there is responders and then there is unresponders and I was an unresponder and I didn't respond to that chemo I just got worse so I changed to a different chemo and I'm on two chemos now every single day and I get to take that at home and then I go to see my doctor every week so it's kind of a lot more balanced than it used to be but it's still hard and there's still different side effects that still affect people so the chemos were very very different but they still affected me in a lot of the same ways so I just think that a lot of people don't really see that part of cancer patients they don't see how much chemo they have to go through, how much needles they have to go through, um, how much surgeries people have to go through when, they're on, when they have cancer or chemo or anything like that. And it's just, it's really horrible sometimes because sometimes you just want a break and sometimes you want to be able to go out with your, your, with your friends and things like that. But when you're on chemo, it's just such a risk of infection that if you go out with your friends, you could end up being home and being very sick because you could catch an infection whilst you're out so it's very hard to kind of balance your life when you're on chemo I think the next thing is talking about needles again so basically um I think this is for most people but when I started treatment or started going to hospitals I had to get a lot of needles so when I went at first I was absolutely terrified of needles I actually have a story that when I was like four and I was in my first year of school I ran out of the school because I could not get the needles and um, my teacher had to like go run after me and call my mom and everything but I was not able to get that needle like I was absolutely terrified of needles and now it's just a breeze like every time I get a needle I know it's gonna help me and I'm just so used to them now that it doesn't really hurt at all so you know I'm a lot more brave Another thing that people might not know about cancer patients is how much their life changes after they have cancer. So it's not just having an illness, it changes your whole life. Um, for me, it changed a lot because we had to start fundraising so that we could go to America for my treatment. And that kind of changed my whole life because once I got treated for cancer and I'm on chemo and everything, like I said before, chemo is very harsh on your body. If you're on a high dose or a medium dose or any dose, it can really depend on your body. But my chemo personally affected me very bad and it can affect your mental health, your physical health. And I think it just changes your life completely. Like a typical day for me last summer was going out with my friends I would go out all day and I wouldn't come home till the night and I would go for sleepovers with my friends I would do so much things I would go out for lunch with my friends go to the cinema all of the time and I wasn't in a lot of the days I would be always outside always getting fresh air and always active and then this year this is so different because this year I'm stuck in all the time I'm always either having an infection or not feeling well or getting sick or having some sort of chemo side effect basically cancer just kind of changes everything like I can't go to school anymore I had to give up school 
for the time being and I don't know if I'll be going back or if I'll be going straight on to college soon. Um, it's a big chance that I'll be going straight on to college because I don't think I'll be able to go back in September to school. So that's a big change because I'm used to seeing my friends most days and you know having a bit of social aspect of school and being able to go in and see my friends and see what they're up to and getting in on all the gossip and talking to my friends and telling them how I am and now I can't really do that because I can't go to school and I don't expect all my friends to come visit me all the time because they have school, they have exams and they have so much to think about like people say that like they feel selfish when they bring up their problems and talk to me because I have cancer but that's a big thing in their life if they have a problem that's still a big problem to them just because I have cancer doesn't mean that their issue is less than mine because everyone has different problems in their life and it can be big or small to them and it just depends on your perspective so you know being having cancer definitely changed me but I feel like it made me a lot more positive and brave there have been times where I have just been a complete wreck and I feel I felt like I was going to break down and cry and I, I didn't think I would be able to pull myself up from it but you just do because you're so used to it and it's just in your body and it's who you are it's part of your life so you just learn to get on with it I guess Something people might not know about people who have cancer is that if a normal person has a temperature they can go to the doctor they will just be treated by medication but if someone who has cancer and is on chemo has a temperature or a fever um, over 38 then they have to go straight to the hospital and that's it like we just have to go straight to the hospital because there could be infection and it could be life-threatening so you have to go straight to the hospital if you have any sign of a fever and that's really annoying because sometimes I can just be home from the hospital and I won't want to go again and then that night I could get a temperature and I would have to go straight back up to the hospital and that's it there's there's no outlining it you have to go straight to the hospital if your temperature doesn't go down and that's really annoying because I like being at home and some people are like oh I'd love to go to the hospital you get so much attention but no if you're a cancer patient you know I have like no life when you're in the hospital all the time so you do not want to go back there like mm -mm, it is not a good place I kind of touched on this briefly in another um, few things before this but I said about how cancer can affect your mental health and not a lot of people know that it can really make you really depressed and I mean for the most part I try and strive and put out a positive attitude because that's what I believe in and I feel like that's what I should put out but many times <laughs> I really just don't feel good about it and you know you can be very scared and it's at the end of the day it's always life-threatening and the the unknown so you know I put out what I want you to see and I put out positivity because that's what I want you to see but that's really not always the case this may not be for everyone but for me cancer has brought me so much confidence I feel like when I lost my hair the first day I went out I was so embarrassed I walked up the street and I thought everyone was staring at me I just I was looking around and my heart was beating and I thought everyone was looking at me and thought I was weird because I had no hair and I was wearing a hat and I still do wear a hat because I'm really not too strong when it comes to taking my hat off and it's just something to do with me and a lot of people really inspire me to take my hat off when they just go bald in a video but that's not me I just at the moment that's not me but it does make me very confident in other ways that I feel like since I have had no hair and a lot of my friends have seen that that I can be more confident in my life and it does inspire me in some way. The thing that people might not know about people who have cancer is yes they have to take chemo but they all we also have to take lots of other medication. I have to take so many. It is unbelievable and half the time it gives me so much bad side effects but I know without the, these medications I wouldn't be able to go out or have those good days and be out of pain so I know that they're necessary but it can be a pain sometimes to take so many every single day. Last thing I want to talk about and it might be a bit of a long rant but it's people like us who have cancer you're still a person and a lot of people mistake that by someone who has cancer is always going to be weak and always going to be pale and always going to be in hospital but that's not it. Yes I go to the hospitals a lot 
yes, I can be pale. And yes, I can be very sick and I can be very weak. But that does not define me. Cancer does not define me. I may go to the hospital a lot and have so many scans and operations and chemo, but I can still look beautiful and I can still be confident in myself and I can still be a person who wants to go out and just be with her friends because I'm still a teenager and I still am a person besides the cancer. I can still put makeup on and feel really nice about myself or fill in my eyebrows and feel really nice about myself or get my nails done when I can or when the doctors let me because sometimes in operations you have to take off your um, if I have gel or nails or acrylics on, they have to take them off so that they can see the white thing when they press on it. It's just a part of an operation. So when I get an operation, I obviously don't get my nails done. But I still love to dress up and be glamorous and live my life, even though it's not always possible. So cancer does not define me. It does not define me as a person, but it definitely made me stronger. And I know that each day I fight. I can make a difference in the world and I can put that positive energy out to you all and I feel like this channel is just such a good thing for me because I can really put out that energy and express my feelings about different things and express how bad my day was or how good my day was because I know half of you probably don't really care but it really is therapeutic for me to make these videos and it really does help me and I did used to do them a long time ago uh, when I had really long hair and everything but then I got sick and you know I didn't make videos for a, a long while and then I didn't get diagnosed for like two years after I began being sick so then everything just got in the way but I still do try and make videos and I'm soon going to try and get a background for um my room I actually have one and it's all glittery and black so that should be up soon and I have two uh pre-filmed videos I'm going to start uploading on Wednesdays and Saturdays and hopefully that routine is good for me. The ice cream man is coming so I can hear him outside. That's cool. Yeah. Just make so much noise. So yeah, there's going to be a lot more in this channel. I have great things planned and I really hope you can all watch and subscribe and like. And I'm actually travelling to Texas next Friday so... That's where I'm going to be getting treatment and there'll be lots of vlogs coming and hopefully videos and if you have any requests please leave them down below and thank you so much for watching, your support means the world to me, bye.